Welcome back, welcome back, viewers, viewers, let us know. And although this is the first show in the series, we've already had no letters at all. Oh, no, one letter. One letter at all. <laughs> Here we are, and, uh... Ah, dear Mr. Welsh, <laughs> I, uh, haven't yet had the misfortune to view your loathsome televisual attempt, but I'm sure it will be as pointless and cretinous as you are. <laughs> you are vermin. <clears throat> And people like you should never be allowed near normal human beings. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Mr. X. Oh, well, there we are. We uh, can't be expected to see eye to ear with everyone, but uh, dramatically, uh, very good. Very good indeed. Yours sincerely, that's nice. <laughs> so, moving on now, let's, uh, let's uh, go over to the oldest man in Wales, old Mr. <laughs> set of teeth made in Port Talbot, I was able to bite my way out of a German prisoner of war <laughs> and then bite my way back to Dunkirk in time to be evacuated. <laughs> Dunkirk, the only time in the history of the world that the Germans weren't the first ones on the beach. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew. There was precious little to laugh at after the war. <laughs> it was only allowed three ration coupons a week. But because of rationing, you want to give one of them back. <laughs> My father tried all sorts of things to raise a bit of extra money. At one time, he started the wash and go chain of commercial sheep dips. <laughs> then he started a pick your own coal mine. <laughs> But eventually, like so many other Welshmen, he was reduced to selling his body as a male prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Servicing sailors or rear admirals as he is. <laughs> a lot of people lived off the land, because if they'd lived on the land, they'd have had to pay rent. <laughs> he lived in a bus for a while. Is that right till the season ticket ran out? <laughs> then we moved into our council house. It was great, apart from the outside toilet, which was on the roof. <laughs> Chimney, it was called. <laughs> nice warm seat in the winter. <laughs> Friday nights were the worst. When my dad came home from the pub, one of the most vivid memories of my childhood is of Dad, after 21 fights, struggling up the drain pipe <laughs> and being sicked on the chimney. <laughs> the whole house would fill with the heady aroma of freshly cooked vomit. <laughs> Young people today wouldn't say thank you for it. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> well, old, old Mr. F there, remembering when he was young, Mr. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my celebrity guest this evening is a man who really enjoys the company of other men. But uh, not in the way you are thinking. <laughs> no, no, he's a, a rugby player. Yes, he's a man who needs no introduction. Um, no, actually, he does need an introduction, uh, <laughs> otherwise you wouldn't know who he is, would you? So, uh, so please welcome a man who, who does need an introduction, but not a very big one, because, well, beca well because he's, he's Gareth Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, 
Yes, the most capped player in Welsh history took part in three Grand Slams, five Triple Crowns, part of the victorious British Lions Tour of New Zealand and South Africa. Tell me, what is this rugby? <laughs> well, it's a game played with a funny shaped ball, so they tell me. But, right. Uh, played by 15 men, yes. of course. And, uh, well, Just as you would know, a very physical and demanding game. I'm, I'm not a... I don't really follow it myself. Although my wife is... Uh, well, she plays quite a lot of rugby, actually. <laughs> uh, my wife. But um, what, what I don't quite understand is how do, you, how do you know who's doing what? Because everybody seems to be dressed in the same sort of way. You know, they're all wearing the same uniform. Yeah. Are they, uh, well, so how, well, I must admit, I, often I wonder uh, how ah, I, you know. But, I'm not uh, a, yes. Yeah, but really you've got the eight forwards or the big boys, aren't you? Yes, you know, yes. Sometimes with some uh, sellotape around to hold the years together. Oh, okay. And, and then, of course, you've got the, the backs who uh, are yeah, on the, the, field. the, the, the sprightly, yes. athletic-looking lads who are very, yes. very quick, yes. uh, darting and diving all around the place and, and, uh, and scoring the tries. So you were, you were one of the sprightly lads? Well... Yes. I'd like to think. Maybe I was, the, I was also the, the man who was in between the forwards and the backs, you know? I see. Uh, yes. not, some would say not a very nice place to be, but uh, <laughs> you look very well on it, I must say. <laughs> yes. yes. So, so, how do you know which one to... Because uh, I did, I watched a game or two, and there are numbers on the, on the back of the... That's right. The that's right. That's right. That's yes. right. So that, that, that's normal then for a number, yes. <laughs> And uh, wow. what, did you have a number? <coughs> yeah, I was number nine. Number nine? Yeah. Number nine, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes. Out of 15. Yes. So, that's right. So, quite good, quite good, you know. Yeah. But, uh, that's right, that's right. If you'd really stuck at it, you could have been a one, maybe, you know, <laughs> given. But um, now a thing, uh, my wife was, uh, was telling me, uh, that uh, the, the rugby game now has gone professional? That's right. Yes, yes indeed. So now, the rugby union, 15 men in a, in a team. Rugby league, 13. So the, and they've been professional for quite a long time, haven't they? Yes. So, so is it... But 100 years, yeah. 100 years? Yes, yes, indeed. So already they've, they've laid off two staff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you could put it like yes. that, yes. Yes. So, uh, I mean... To play a... A more attractive game many many years yes. ago. Yes, they did without the uh, the wing forwards yes. uh, because they wanted more space in which to have these young backs darting and dashing and scoring like these wonderful fish tries. You know, a, yes, that's right. Yes. So, yes. do you see? I mean, do the two gone. Do you think it could get you know le to possibly one man aside? <laughs> rugby. Well, well, like, the, well, mind you, the size of some of these forwards, I can yes. see maybe a one-man scrub before long. It would be enough. It would be enough, yes. Yes, indeed. Well, like golf, yeah. did, that used to be 25 aside, didn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> one man. Well, that's very... But uh, I happen to know you, you, uh, you do a bit of uh, fishing. Yes, I enjoy going down to the river, yes. Yes, well, yes. who yes. doesn't, you know? Yes. <laughs> Yes. But, um, do you have your own trawler? <laughs> well, I've got to admit, at times, I wish I did have. I'm but sure, of, yeah, yes. Well, uh, well, yeah. But uh, I'd rather think of myself uh, as a fisherman, not a fishmonger, you know? And, uh, ah, I like to right. cast the fly, you know, on, fly. on the water. Yes, yes. Gareth Edwards, thank you very much for coming along and talking Delighted. to us. Delighted. Thank you very much.